Are you the kind of person who actually likes to take the RP and RPG games seriously? Because I do, and I came up with this neat little idea that you should be able to use in most RPG games, but in this video I'm going to specifically demonstrate it in Skyrim, and it'll probably work in other Elder Scrolls games. But in order to do this thing, all what you need are a couple dice. So the basic idea of this RPG rule I made up is to pretty much just make it where your character can't just wear armor that they found in the chests or on other bodies or corpses unless you call a dice roll right. Or if you want to use the workbench to fit it to your character. Now for the dice you can use any number of sided die you want. It'll pretty much just make the challenge greater or easier depending on your desired effect. You can use a 6-sided die, you can use a 12-sided die, or even a 20-sided die like I like to use. And pretty much the easiest way is just to show it in-game. Even though that weighs a shit ton, I, I could roll and see if that fits me. But how about the boots? Because I just got bone boots, these would be heavier boots. They weigh 8, so they're within my limit. Let me roll. I'm gonna pick the number 17. Holy sh! Oh my god, no way I picked 17 and got 17. I was expecting that to actually uh, fail because it's a 1 in 20 chance, but legitimately I got 17. Which means this guy had the same leg size as me, and they're now mine. So I have steel boots now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, let's go find a different guy and roll just for the hell of it, just because I need to demonstrate what it's like. I could still pick up his clothes, I just need to fit it to me, which I still need to do actually, but that one guy down here had some clothes. That, that was funny, I, I called that good, very well. Call that very, very well. This guy has a stool to sit down on. You lucky bastard. Let's take his gold. So, fur shoes, fur bracers, fur armor. See, this is fur armor. Let's see if I could equip it. I don't need it, but I'm going to do this just in case. So, fur armor. Wait, six. I'm going to call 19. 13. See, it didn't work. I can still pick it up, but I just can't wear it. Honestly, in this excuse, fur armor would probably work because it would just stretch to my waist. But in more like metalish armors, you know, it'd be more realistic to see if it would fit you through the dice roll. Let's say you find this really cool steel armor set on a bandit chief you just killed, and well, you could loot it but you can't wear it yet. So before you can wear it, you call the roll on, let's say, a 20-sided die. I'm just gonna use it. And you just decide one number, or you like to keep it permanent. Like, maybe for this character, his size will always be 17. And you always have to call that number. So you roll the die, and if it lands on that number, then congratulations, you are lucky enough to have the armor fit your character. Pretty much saying the guy, even if he doesn't look like it, have the same body shape as you, and you can now wear the armor and you can equip it right there and use it. If not, you can still keep it in your inventory, but you have to go to a smithing workbench area to fit it to your character. And basically by saying that, I just mean upgrading it on the workbench, you know, requiring whatever it needs to be upgraded at least once. And once it's upgraded at least once, it'll now fit your character and then you can use it. So yeah, that's basically the rules to this little RP thing that you would do. and. If you buy armor from a blacksmith, let's just make it say where they made, you were you requested the armor and they made it to order so it would always fit you. So you won't ever have to do the dice roll on that unless you want to do that if it's pre-made armor. And I mean, it, this of course already makes sense in itself. If you make any armor yourself, it's you're going to make it to fit you. So <laughs> no dice roll required there. But another cool feature about this little rule is um, if you have followers, it actually can be fun to see if it can fit you 
or try it for it to fit you and then call the dice roll and fail and then you have your follower who maybe is bigger and burlier you can call a dice roll on them and see if they could wear it instead or unless you rule that they have you and the follower have the same body type especially if you look very similar or if you're like brothers or something so that, that, that's why I think this RPG idea is really neat and I just wanted to share it and see if other people could uh, or would want to use this rule because I, I find it very fun especially when you get the dice roll right like I did, uh, demonstrated in my gameplay here because I will provide actual like real in-time game footage of me doing this because I actually poorly demonstrate it but I still demonstrate it nonetheless but I would love to make this an actual mod of Skyrim, but unfortunately I do not have the coding skills to actually make that all happen. So if anybody knows how to do that, please make it. I don't you can take you can take my idea, claim it as your own, and make the mod, because I would just want to use it. That's all what I would want to do. But I I'm just putting this idea out there for people who want to play it. It I don't really I've never really played Dungeons and Dragons, but I kinda got the idea of that because my brother gave me the dice set you saw at the beginning of the video, and I wanted to use it sometimes when I'm not ever trying to learn d and I'd just be like, oh, I want to play Skyrim and add a little fun to it. I thought this dice would add a lot of extra fun to it, and I find it pretty neat. I mean, my character doesn't switch armor very much, but whenever it does happen, you get that, that dice roll game, and it, it just makes everything more interesting. But uh, that's basically it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe if you do like my content. I don't know if I'd be expecting any more Skyrim content anytime soon because they tend not to get a lot of attention, but this is just one I wanted to poke out for now. And remember to check out my secondary channel, uh, Extra76, if you want to watch the bloopers of me failing to talk at the beginning of this video. And I will see you all later.